you've done is you've gotten the heads off of the wheat and what we did is took this off and we just put these in for threshing which is basically getting all the kernels out of the heads attached to the kernels Husk from type pieces. the actual kernels and you have to do this over and over until you only get kernels left. So what we did is we put a fan here and a bowl for the kernels to go into and we took all of it just like small bits at a time. You put it in front of the fan and you just work it a little bit and then the kernels will fall in and all the like husk pieces will just go out since the kernels are heavier, they'll just go straight through. Yeah, see, so we can see they're getting into the yard, right? Yeah. That's fine. And then you said you'll have to repeat this process yeah. several times, right? Like, as you can see, there's the kernels in there, but they're also like husk pieces. Okay, keep going. First winnowing. As you can see, there are still some pieces like this, and these, they sometimes aren't affected by the fan, and some of them also have kernels in them, so this one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think uh, it got it. most of the kernels out. I and then with these, you just want to toss them out, yeah. since they can, like, sometimes they can actually go through and get into the bowl. So you just want to pick some of the bigger ones out before you winnow again. Third round of winnowing. As you can see, Talk louder now that he's there are a lot more um, kernels that you can see, and a lot less of the actual like husk pieces. So we're getting close to actually finishing the winnowing. Yep. Making a good mess. Yep. yep. All right. Good. Show me your ball. So I just figured out that really big. If you drop it from higher, the kernels are fine. And as you can see. There's only like two or three pieces of the husk there. So I think it's better to drop it from higher into the bowl. And I think it'll work a lot better. Okay, switch bowls and try it again. Let's see how it's looking. It's getting there, right? Mostly seeds, just a few pieces of the husk left. How long do you say this took us? Maybe 10 minutes? 10, 15 minutes about. Yeah, I think some of that, the little grinding bits in there are some of the kernels got a little bit beat up by the blender, yeah. but they're still falling. And so that'll be fine for when it grinds down to make the flour. Okay, I think now we have to pick out the rest and none of them seem to be flying out. Yeah, there's just a few pieces probably to pick out by hand, yeah? Yeah, I think that's all that we really need. Looks great. So once we have finished winnowing, you can see we just have like all of the seeds in here now. And now we are ready to turn it into flour. So as you can see, we have the wheat berries in this. And most people use like a flour mill or a mortar and pestle. Mortar and pestle or yeah, flour mill or grinder. And we don't have any of those, so we're just gonna use this. Hold it a little closer to your body. See if it works. There you go. Yeah, that's good. So what are we trying to do? We're just trying to 
um, like turn the wheat and grind it down into the flour. The berries, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You can tell that it's starting to be like shredded and grinded up, but yeah, starting to break it down. We still are gonna have to wait a little bit before we do it. But you mean do it a little more? Yeah. So okay, so take it back over there right. and grind it some more. So we've been grinding the wheat for about 15 minutes, and first of all, you can see there's like a small like like layer of flour if you look. Down here. Yeah, down at the bottom, right here. That's all like what we want to get to. And then if you look at the top, like all that, we still have to get through all of that. Right. We've been doing it for about like 15 minutes. Yeah, so and don't take the blade out, but just kind of pinch it. And what does it feel it out, like? Like, so it kind of feels like a grain of sand. Okay, still just a little bit like beady and grainy, right? But I can see from you, you washed your hands, of course, and I can mm -hmm. see from where you touched the edge of the jar, you still have some flour dust on your hands, right? Down there. Yeah. So it's that top layer that still has to get ground down, yeah. right? But like you just pointed out, this lower layer down here is the finer mm -hmm. flour. Okay, so show us again. Keep grinding. So, so these are wheat berries that I set aside to grow more wheat, since I want to keep doing this because it was pretty fun. And also, now I've realized how hard it is to go from like all these to getting this. And for us, we planted about like 25 to 30 of these and we got less than a quarter cup of flour. Yeah, well we we threshed, we pruned yeah. and threshed, threshed about from, yeah. what, 25 or 30 heads, right? Yeah, and the rest is in here. And we saved a couple there. 